if his technique gets better, he could be a huge force, not only in the amateurs, heading to the Olympics, but he still wants a professional force. Of course, the Olympics is immediate goal. He lost to Nate Jones, who ended up representing the United States in 1996. In the 201 pound division. And Nate went on to win a bronze medal. Midway through the fight now. Oh, uh, well, that, that was uh, cupping with the glove. Williamson <laughs> touching Brock with the jab, and that is just what Mitchell wanted him to do. Both men have been a little uneven with their effort during round two. Wait for referee Gene Reese to break them apart. Give them the chance to do it themselves first. Williams is starting to use the jab a little bit more. Also, Kevin Brock has really abandoned his jab in this bout. And it, Brock, true to his word, has stayed righty in this bout. He's not succumbed to switching lefty. He thinks since he is an original righty, he, he has more power as a right hand. Which may well be the case. Slapping overhand right by Brock, but it's not likely to land because you have to land with the white portion of the glove. These guys continually tying each other up here in round two. This is the only bout really that we've seen this evening where that's happening a lot. Often does happen in the heavyweights. Final seconds of round two. Calvin Brock in blue and Farrell Williamson in red. Round red, Calvin Brock in blue. And the judges, Al, have not punched their buttons very much in this fight. A 6-3 lead entering the final round for Williamson. As their aggressiveness picks up here starting in the round, but yet another pullback by the referee, Gene Reese. Brock came out and landed a very good left hook. That's been an underused punch by him. And I, if I was him, I would really go back to that weapon. There he is. There's the hook. He can land it. When he throws it. I mentioned the dual meet, the international dual meet record of Williams and Brock is 2-0 in his international dual meet. So he's had some international experience as well and done well. Whereas both these men would like to represent the United States in the Olympics in the year 2000. And they are ranked number one and number two. So this third meeting that they have will certainly not be the last. And it's interesting, you know, Williamson has seen him as a righty, as a lefty, and now as a righty. So it's like he's facing a different guy every time. Williamson at age 29 certainly puts him in a different category than some of the other boxer is much younger but he feels it's an advantage he, he feels that his maturity needed to be able to think on his feet in the ring i think that will help Williamson, i think stunned brock a moment ago and actually thought the referee was going to call a standing head count and he, he didn't he's almost looking the referee like it. you know when Williamson stands back and throws his punches correctly and does a slap he is a very hard puncher. He's showing evidence of that now. He hurt him with the left hand there. Three, four, five. Brock shaking his head. Either way, it doesn't matter. It counts as one. It counts as one unless you unless you get three standing eight counts in a round or four in a fight with Brock. I think it's going to have happen here. Look at the left hand to the body by Williamson. Navarro Williamson is a very close very close to being a complete fighter. And if he ever gets there with his power, trust me, he'll be a force. Pleasure for slapping with the punches to Williamson. It's been a very good third round for Devaro Williamson. 
He had a three-point lead entering the round, so it might be enough to secure the win. I would think so. And there he's using the jab as a range finder. And that's what they want. And for Calvin Brock, he's going to have to mount a huge attack here in these final seconds, I think, to get anything done. He's really back on his heels. I think the power, the difference between these two men is simply the power of Williamson. Charlie, they're not that different in terms of their level of ability and there's not that much that separates them. It is primarily the power of Williamson. He's a harder puncher. And it's over. DeVarro Williamson and Calvin Brock in a rematch of last year's heavyweight final. And this one goes the distance. Last year they stopped it with a second to go. DeVarro Williamson uh, showed flashes of power throughout this match. Here we see one. This was not where the standing eight was called, but where he landed an excellent right hand. You could feel that hurting Brock. He thought it was going to be a standing eight count. Here's where he did get a standing eight count. I believe it's a good straight left hand that does most of the damage from Williamson. Straight on, yeah. right square in the nose. Now let's go to the ring announcer. The winner of this contest on points and the 201 pound, that's the heavyweight, 1998 USA Boxing National Champion from the red corner, DeVaro Williamson. DeVaro Williamson is the winner as he lifts his opponent, Calvin Brock, into the air, nine to four on points. And he made history, Charlie, in this division. The first man to win three U.S. championships. Coming up next, the super heavyweights, Dominic Gwynn and T.J. Wilson.